8.5. Acid deposition, sources of oxides of sulfur and nitrogen, and some solutions. Natural sources of sulfur oxides are volcanoes and forest fires. Nitrogen oxides are formed when lightning strikes occur. Now power stations, if they're carbon based, release both of the gases. And there are several solutions, we'll see later, how those can be reduced or eliminated. You can also replace the power stations with solar power or wind generation, for example. Neither produce those two oxides. A sulfide smelter, again, there are solutions for that. The production of lead involves smelting sulfide ore. Planes produce nitrogen oxides, as do cars. But you know what? If you take public transport, then that will reduce your emissions by quite a bit. Alrighty, let me land the drone and let's look at again uh, in a bit more detail. So natural sources of sulfur oxides, SO2, SO3, are volcanoes and forest fires. Natural sources of nitrogen oxides, lightning and bacteria. Didn't mention that before. Power stations produce both sorts if it's a carbon based fuel that's burning. And if you treat that fuel before, during and after combustion, you can reduce the emissions. You can improve design or add a catalytic converter. Don't forget, you can replace the power station with a solar power or wind power, which have no emissions. Sulfide smelter, again, you can treat the, uh, the chimney exhaust and use an improved design to reduce sulfur oxide emissions. Cars produce nitrogen oxides. They don't produce sulfur oxides. Take the train instead of the car, public transport. And finally, don't forget, planes produce nitrogen oxides. Uh, and this little bit here, uh, acid polluted lakes can sometimes be successfully treated with calcium hydroxide, otherwise known as lime, uh, which will increase the pH and precipitate out some aluminium compounds.